Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor, barbel fishing for me this week on the River Severn. My bait approach, very simple, frankfurter sausage boilies, 16mm, I'll be putting loose offerings out, also I'll be fishing with a PVA bag with boilies and multi-mix proactive pellets. Anyway, let's get down to the river. I've made it to the water's edge just in time before it started to rain, although as I often say in my angling blog, the weather does not bother me at all. I've got a brolly, the fish are wet already, certainly not a problem as far as they're concerned. We're all happy, the rods are out and I'm looking to get a barbel or two on the bank. Right on dusk, it's a miserable afternoon, but as I always say in a situation like this, not my target species, but at least I'm not a blanker. No barbel, but Chubb rescued the day, so I wasn't a total blanker. But on the way home, camcorder at the ready, because I knew what to expect, I spotted this in a tree right by the side of the road, and it was very obliging. And with the river very low, I was up in Wales, I spent an afternoon into dark on the upper seven, challenging at the best of times, and certainly in the conditions, an extra special challenge. Needless to say, I blanked this time round, not only for barbel, but also no chub either. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. First of all, I've been to the New Saints, done some stuff there, interviewing players for a podcast, that sort of thing, out and about in the local town promoting the club. Something to eat, straight down the river, took the rods with me in the back of the car, straight down the river, just in time for dusk. Hopefully, I'll get a fish on the bank. That would be good. This is the Upper Severn, so it's not the Barbel Alley that you find 20 miles or whatever downstream. This is hen's teeth country. They're not exactly prolific, but as I always say, as long as your bait's in the water, you've got a chance. What a difference a day makes, and a few days makes a massive difference, especially when you've had the rain that we've had. The River Severn has gone from being low and clear and canal-like, no flow at all in places to being a raging torrent. It's eight feet up, but you know what? I'm after barbel. Choose the right swim. Obviously, safety is an issue, but also in terms of where the fish will be holed up. They'll be feeding, and I've just arrived. I've cast out, and you know what? I'm confident. Well, the river so far has been like a piscatorial graveyard. Nothing showing at all, not even any roach topping. But I persisted, call it angling sixth sense if you like, but I knew that it would come good in the end. We had some rain, that freshened the river up a little, but still the barbel proved to be elusive. Chub along the way, but not my target species. But I kept going, I had seven barbel blanks and on the 8th right at the very end in atrocious conditions so bad that the wind was threatening to trash my umbrella so I just packed it away and sat there in the pouring rain literally minutes before I was due to pack away the one rod went and I was into a good fish. I landed it, of course, and you've been watching the photograph of that here on the screen. An example that there are times, like life in general, when we do need to quit and move on, but there are those times when we need to persist because we know that it will come good in the end. Well, eight sessions, one barbel, but 
under the circumstances, actually, I'm a happy camper. Out and about yourself, tight lines, and I'll see you soon.